I don't know about you, but like, ooh, ooh, ooh. look at my ears. <laughs> I'm just gonna be behind over here smiling like an idiot. We are gonna make anime items today and the item that we are gonna make right now is gonna be from one of my favorite shows ever because my best friend introduced it to me and then now I can't shut up about it. One Piece. We are gonna make the fruit that started it all. No, I already showed you the- no. Hold on. This one. It fell apart again. <laughs> but um, we are gonna try to make the gomo gomo fruit. We are gonna try to make this fruit again. Um, you can see where it went wrong. We are gonna attempt to make this again today. All you need is clay, air dry clay. There we go. First thing, I am going to demolish this. It's not that it's bad, it's just that I could do better. Spoiler! I didn't do better. <laughs> it came out worse. <laughs> Please keep watching. I, I swear I, I'm, I made up for it with editing. I'll try to. Now all that's left is a paper wall. Alright, oh, this is gonna be like a tutorial, right? I don't know how to film tutorials. I suck at filming tutorials. We have aluminum foil, I think our sculpting materials. And all of these clays. Most of them are dried up and or is... It was this whole thing and my mother was the best. That smells very powerful. Why does it smell like chemicals? Oh, because it's very dry clay. <laughs> Don't be dumb. And this is why we have materials. smell it from here. It only smells very powerful when I go like... <sighs> Why did I do that? <laughs> what about this? This is better, but it's still icky. But it's better. Okay, so as I'm like mixing around in the expired clay like an idiot, I'm actually gonna give you a real tutorial, don't worry, so so that your time is not completely wasted, this is how I'm gonna do it, okay? <laughs> oh my god, okay. As you already know, basically all you need for this project is air dry clay, but that's, that is not entirely all you need. When you're making a sculpture out of air dry clay, something like that, or polymer clay, you are are going to use a base. Some people would use the aluminum foil as a base. Usually if you're gonna use polymer clay then aluminum foil is gonna be your best bet. You're gonna use a base. For this I simply crushed up some paper, some calendars actually. It was like old calendars so it wasn't really wasting any paper. So you're gonna take the paper, you're gonna crush it into a ball, very like elementary project stuff like paper balls, you know, throw them at the kid. Don't bully kids. Okay, just don't bully. Back to the regular program. We have our basis now. Now we have to reinforce it with some good old tape. It's just tape. It, it, it. I don't know what to tell you, it's just tape. You're gonna take the paper, you're gonna crush it into a ball, and then I will be using tape as I used in this project like many, many weeks ago. Did I mention I filmed this twice? You're gonna take the paper, crush it into a ball, tape it up with t tape. So you have a firm base now. Oh my god, please pray for me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Now you have your bowl. Now you're gonna take your clay, you're gonna wrap it all around there, and that will be your second layer of the base. Now. Here comes the more time-consuming part with the clay that you are going to take. You will essentially just make little snakes. You know how we used to do that with clay when we were kids? Probably still now. Whenever we have clay, like we immediately make a snail, right? I can't be the only person that does that. You're gonna roll up your clay into like a snake form, cut off the edges so it's like straight, you know, very pretty, very pretty. Then you're gonna twirl the ends both in the opposite direction as you see here, and now you have a little swirl. It's like that music note. Actually, no, it does not look at all like a music note. Never mind. <laughs> 
you're just gonna take the swirl and then carefully just lay it onto the ball piece by piece i told you this is time consuming do not do this if you're stressed for the love of god do not do this when you're stressed or like under pressure or like with a deadline you know this is not a project to be taken lightly like you want to have the absolute peace of mind when you want to do this i'm like exaggerating it so much i was just stressed when i was making this for the second time around you can obviously tell how atrocious the result came out <laughs> what's the next step okay you made your base with all the little swirls looking pretty cute and then now all you have to do is paint around it you're gonna paint your thing however you want it if you want like a red goma goma fruit that's not authentic to the show at all but it's fine it's up to you it's your project it's your life you know it's your decisions who am i to imply on your decisions after you have painted your beautiful beautiful product prod five english question mark you're gonna make the stem <laughs> you can make the stem in a multiple oh my god oh my god should i like talk slower you can make the stem in a multitude of different ways multiple what's the difference between multiple and multiple multi yes what was i saying you can make the stem in a lot of different ways i personally used glue stick hot glue and then yeah assemble your cute little fruit with your little swirls and the beautiful colors and then look at that you have a project that takes like half a day i think at most it'll probably it depends on how fast how quickly the thing dries the the, the point is i made it so if I can make it, then honey, you can definitely make it. So yeah, this tutorial is getting pretty, pretty long. <laughs> so now I'm gonna... Now watch me fail. Now you know how to actually make this project, more or less. So now you can have the luxury of watching me fail every single wow. step that I practically just narrated to you. Please subscribe. I make wonderful content. More or less amazing. <laughs> okay. No. Subscribe. <laughs> okay, back to the regular program. Thank you for listening. I love you. Mwah. Is there a way to like put sh Why not have tape? This might take a while, actually. Thank you, thank you ever so much. I didn't need like a gondola drum. What the fuck even is a gondola drum? I don't need a boyfriend. That sucks. Today has been a slow day, okay? My hair is in here. Has anyone ever tried to make an ube cinnamon roll? TikTok went from being productive to just accepting that life sucks. Iced tea is delicious. Have you guys checked out 100 Days of Makeup yet? Have you checked out the series yet? Because now there's two episodes. And what are you doing? Watching this video and not watching those videos. You gotta watch those videos. And the, the neighbors are quiet. If this is the first video you're watching on my channel, I'm so sorry. It feels like the days are so long but the year is so short. This is a video where I'm making anime items, so like I should probably talk about anime. Okay, now we have our abnormal shaped ball. You're just watching a 17 year old toddler. Aren't you so glad you clicked on this video? Yeah. Petty drama. Oh, there's a mosquito here and it's annoying me. Huh? How did I do it? How did I- how did I do this? Beautiful. Who says I can't do this? Me. This is gonna take a while. How did I- how? Was I- was I a genius? Did I de-evolve? You know what's weird? One Piece is really the anime that impacted me to watch more anime, but the very first anime that I actually watched was Junji Ito. Junji Ito. And it's like a collection of horror stories, and that was the first anime I've actually watched. I am a genius in a different way. I can't remember characters' names very well. It's Itadori's body, right? You just like Sakuna for like his voice and then like his 
<laughs> I'm currently watching Assassination Classroom. It's very interesting. It's a very creative, like very odd and very creative, unique. Except for this, except for the classroom concept, but like the teacher and the fact that they all just have to kill him. It's a really good show. An underrated show that I love so much is Moriarty the Patriot, which is like a spin-off of like Sherlock Holmes. Given hurt me so much. It hurt me so much. Banana Fish was actually a genius plot. However, spoiler alert, they did not have to kill the main character in the end. I'm just gonna say main character because like there's two main characters, so you take your pick. You can guess which one dies. One of them dies, but it's like, why? Like sure, it impacted the moment more, I guess, but like there was no reason for him to die. <sighs> this is getting really hard. I'm going to finish this off camera. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? I love you, see you next time. And by next time, I mean in a few seconds. Hello, it is officially three hours later. This isn't my best tour. <laughs> huh. The first one is much more detailed and even and not this. <laughs> I'm wearing pigtails. I just felt the need to tell you that because I never wear pigtails. You know? like, Let's paint our devil fruit and get on with the next project. Yeah. Okay, without further ado, let's stop talking and let's just spray this. That is loud. You've got to be kidding me. Don't do this to me. It was working. It's out of juice. <laughs> well, since there's no other choice, let's just take our paintbrush and let's take our paint. Let's just paint it. I should just stop being a and just get it done with. I feel like it's a good thing because like this is not the color of the fruit itself, so. Oh, it's a heavy boy. So cute! It's so cute! It's so cute! I'm 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 so if you skipped the entire, um, whatever the last segment was, um, that's totally understandable. I mean, okay, see, okay, okay. I'm not gonna make this very long, you know? This is where we are officially gonna make Anjiro's earrings. And I gotta say, pretty proud of this project. Unlike the first one, this one came out successful. It's so cute. I suck at, like, proportions and, like, drawing and stuff, so I downloaded a picture. You can find it on Pinterest, literally. All you have to do is search up dangerous earrings and it shows up. So I would just layer the paper on my phone and then trace it. And that's basically how I've been drawing my entire life. Oh, my secret is now exposed. Yeah, so you're gonna want to trace your item on a black sheet of paper. Once you have that, I actually layered papers underneath so like you can have multiple of the same drawing. Now if you're like me and you're using the tracing, is it called tracing? Like the tracing by layering, like if you're doing whatever I'm doing, then you're gonna have like the little imprints on the paper. But if you're also like me and you're like kind of blind, low key, not really. Here's another trick of mine that you can use. But essentially, you just want to take some makeup. It doesn't matter what color, but it has to be powder. Taking a brush, you just want to brush over it, kind of like an archaeologist, and you're gonna brush the pigment on the paper and voila! 
the imprint reveals itself. I don't know why I didn't decide to trace this with like a ballpoint pen or whatever. I just decided to have the imprint and then immediately paint over it. So after you have your imprint on your little paper, you are gonna take the paper and then you're gonna find some like thick cardboard. Not like really thick, just like thin. It's like you know what? You do whatever you want. <laughs> Moving on. You're just gonna wanna glue your print on the cardboard and then you're gonna cut it out and now you have a cute little rectangle. Now on your imprint, you can go whatever you want first. I went for the... I believe it's like a shade of sea green. To make this color, you just need some white, green, and then a tiniest bit of black you're gonna make gray first and then after you make gray you add in the green and then you just keep adjusting it until you find the right shade and then you're just gonna apply that to the semicircle that is situated at the bottom that's when i realized that the strategy was to go green white red and then black if you want you can make another imprint on the back side so you can have like two sides of it you know but i didn't go the extra mile finished the whole thing by adding the earring accessories now i have these little earring hooks in gold and silver i decided to go gold for mine you know just a little bit more bougie <laughs> so it's pretty self-explanatory you're just gonna take the chain add it on add the hook now that you have your wonderful little earrings that's that's it very simple diy to make something about making stuff your own just adds more value but yeah now you're done with your earrings so congratulations you did it you made it through a second tutorial thank you so much for listening Enjoy the outro. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I look like a broke college student. That's okay. <laughs> you can't see my beautiful earrings <laughs> with my hair covering it, but... Dun -da -da -dun -da -da -da. Hold on. No, oh, this is the prettier side. Dun -da -da. I stand corrected. Dun -da -da. <laughs> look at that. Wow. Is that my thumbnail? It is my thumbnail. I'm too tired to take pictures. That is my thumbnail. Oh, this is the end of the video. Let's 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 show off these beautiful earrings over here. Wow. Also, I'm sure the audio is very unbalanced because I I I like using my hands when I talk. Like Lida can. <laughs> I genuinely had a lot of fun making this video. Geeking out over anime, like my favorite anime, geeking out over making the fruit that literally made Luffy what he is today and what will make him into the Pirate King, like making the iconic Tanjiro earrings that made Muzan go I feel genuinely like yes. Productivity, productivity in my career will bring success in baby steps and I am feeling... I am feeling that. <laughs> I'm gonna take like a ballsy move and like post this video on like Facebook groups. I might get banned. <laughs> But if you if you are watching this from me sharing this video on Facebook, then thank you so much. If you enjoy the video, do you want to like consider staying? You know, cons cons I can't I can't. <laughs> if you want, we welcome you into this family. Thank you so much. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. I had so much fun making it. This is a really long outro. This is a really long outro. I just need to say goodbye, and then I'll get out of your hair noses. I'll stop bothering you. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Um, genuinely, genuinely, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, you piece of- <laughs> Look. Listen. You little devil fruit, you need to listen to me. You were a bitch to make. Let me get that straight. You were a bitch to make post every single week Woo! this has been an experience i love anime i love cartoons i love movies in general because why i am going to be a filmmaker 
that is my dream job and hopefully I will be able to do that and but for now I'm gonna make these videos for fun and because I want to connect with you so subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you enjoyed it Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> no, seriously, bye. I'm gonna wear this in the outside world. I will, I will, you cannot stop me. This is actually like a great conversation starter. Like you show up at like a place, right? You're having a date with your girlfriends, right? You're having a date and then you take a seat at your table and then there's like a cute guy like sitting next on the, on the, the opposite table. And then he sees your earrings, you go like this, like, yeah, oh wow. <laughs> and then he notices your, your your earrings and then he goes, do you watch Demon Slayer? <laughs> and then you go, yeah, I watch other animes too. <laughs> what, are you a fan of One Piece? What about, what about the underrated animes? Tell me more. <laughs> Maintain, maintain composure. Oh my god, I, I, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed.